What's going on guys? Chad back here with you on the RC Models and More channel and I've got a series of some quick clips coming up here to kind of show you some things that have been uh, a couple of the top questions that are uh, coming up on the channel and also some uh, gear, gear reviews that are popping up. Uh, the first thing here real quick is uh, just this focus peaking thing which I guess according to my Android fans, is not available on uh, Android devices, only on the iOS. Um, and the focus peaking basically, as you can see, turns everything red, and everything that is red is supposed to be in focus. So it's a pretty nice feature that's built into DJI Go and into Leechy. But what we're here to talk about today <clears throat> is how to get rid of the horizon shift. I've been watching a lot of TV shows lately that uh, have a lot of drone footage built into them and it's just crazy the amount of uh, drone video that you see that where the horizons are crooked and I might not be the best editor but I hate uh, a crooked horizon uh, so here's a couple ways to fix it in uh, all the different apps we'll start with DJI Go the first thing to do is to make sure that you got a good IMU calibration the second thing you want to do is to make sure that you got a good gimbal calibration and that when you calibrate your gimbal, it is at zero. So in flight here, you can see that <clears throat> our horizon, horizon is crooked. And, uh, you know, it's a common thing with DJI's, common th thing really with any drone. Um, you know, with the wind, it's just compensating and it can only do so much. Now on the fly, you can change this, but a couple things you can do first is you can actually play with your gains a little bit. You can see I had my gain at 80 and it was kind of blowing it a little bit more. Um, I just bumped it up to 120, so it's locked in in a position now and you can see that it's trying to correct a little bit, but you know, I was out flying in about 30 mile per hour winds. So that uh, is a pretty good uh, test of what exactly happens. So take a look here and turn back around. Some people don't realize that you can do this, but if you hold down the C2 key, which is the trigger key on the back side on the right, and turn your exposure wheel, you'll see that little green crosshair pop up and this will allow you to basically turn that wheel right or left to adjust your gimbal roll. Now, it actually has a bug in it, which has been there forever, and it will actually change your shutter too. So you'll have to move that back. But you can see, we can just roll it back and forth whichever way that we want to. No big deal, uh, real easy to do. Hold in that C2 key, roll it to the left, roll it to the right. And don't forget to set your exposure back to uh, normal. So the other thing you can do in flight, if you can't seem to get that combination to work, which some people just can't seem to get it to work, I don't know why, um, <clears throat> is you can actually go into the gimbal med, uh, menu and adjust gimbal roll yourself. If you click on the button, it'll pop up that little screen. And then you can just press this buttons here to adjust everything while you're in flight. Don't forget to put it back to zero um, whenever you're done with your flight. So that way the next time you take off, you start from a good reference point. Also make sure it's at zero before you do a gimbal calibration if you have messed with it before. All right, and here's the same thing in the Leechy app. Uh, we can also see that focus peaking works in Bleachy as well, and so does the C2 and shutter wheel command. It's the same behavior, basically, because it's the same software with just a different twist on it. The only difference in Leechy is that you do not get the little crosshair that pops up, but you can make the horizon adjustments on the fly. Uh, just once again, be careful, uh, try to get it back to as even as you can, and when you get back to your workbench, 
uh, go back into the DJI Go app and set the gimbal roll back to 0, 0, 0.0 for your next flight so that way you don't have any pro uh, problems. But you can see same things happen, exposure, all that kind of stuff changes as well. So we'll be right back with the final method. Probably just something here we can do in Adobe Premiere. Um, and if we have the clip selected and we go into effects controls, um, what we can actually do is change the rotation of the actual clip and basically you can make it as straight as you want to and then what I do by clicking on rotation and then changing it and then what you can basically do is just increase the scale and zoom in a little bit to get rid of that now it's just kind of the way that I do it. There may be a better way in Premiere uh, to do it, but basically that is just how I have uh, learned to do it and figured out how to do it myself. It's quick and easy and it will save those shots that uh, you definitely want. So again, that's just the rotation right here. And that is just basically changing the scale and making it bigger if you're shooting. Well, as I was saying, if you're shooting on 2.7K or 4K, you can zoom in and not have a problem. So anyway, here's just the video in real time, just showing you what's going on with the gimbal now. It was windy, so it's going to jerk a lot in the wind like this. So you might want to face into the wind, turn it, turn it back, and see how things go. But anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. I got a lot of more content coming up with the Mavic and stuff and maybe some FPV builds. And we'll see what happens here with the weather. Definitely more Tiny Whoop stuff. So uh, anyway, we'll talk to you guys later.